right. That was Marvin Sewell on that guitar, y'all. A good talk. All right, that's right. So we're gonna take you to the mountaintop because I'm from Harlan County, Kentucky. From coal country. My, my grandpa was a coal miner, all my uncles were coal miners. And um, you know, it's some hard times up there on those mountains, you know. And um, Harlan County sits on top of what's called Black Mountain, which is the highest peak in the state of Kentucky. And we're almost 5,000 feet in the air. I think it's like 4,900 or something feet. Um, on the East Coast, that's pretty high. I know from you folks out who are, go to Colorado and all that, that's nothing. But for our little old Southeast, that's quite high up, you know? So we wanna bring a taste of our kind of mountain and church and, and, um, and our, you know, small humble town brings. And Cole brought a lot of people from many different nationalities to our little humble um, region there. Um, so anyway, we have a lot of um, stuff going on in this world. And so this is one, this is a song while we're trying to make change. It might be a good one to sing. So. We want you to cheer, we want you to clap, we want you to sing along. We do congregations, congregational music, you know, and you know, Kristen and everybody brought us all together to be here, and so this is gonna be our little Springfield congregation, all right? So we're gonna do church claps, okay? We're gonna do some church claps. And I love this because there's enough black people in here. So you know. Friends don't let friends clap on one and three. So you got a friend, because I see like every third person is somebody black. Come on now. Help them out. <laughs> That's right, I said it. <laughs> All right. Long walk to DC, all right? Long walk to DC. What? That's right, that's what you gotta do. It's a long walk to DC, but I got my walking shoes on. Can't take a plane, pass a train, cause my money ain't that long.
Ike. Usa. do this song speaking of honoring people one of the pioneers of British rock music and uh, this youngster named Paul McCartney who turned 80 years old a couple weeks ago and so the reason why we're doing this white man's song <laughs> is because this particular song, he was inspired to write by the Civil Rights Movement. And there were two African-American women, elders, who inspired him, the whole movement and the struggle, and he got to meet them, and, and I read this article. And so um, we, we uh, were invited to perform at a tribute concert, and I thought, how can I, how can I, you know, his ver the version of Blackbird that he does is so just beautiful and, and um, you know, heartfelt and, and in the spirit of solidarity and empathy. And I thought, you know, at the time that he wrote it, that was really, you know, what inspired him. But what's gonna inspire me to deliver the message of his song in the 21st century as an Afro-Indigenous woman, as a black woman myself, and I am now still part of the struggle and the resilience and the determination from that. And so I'm gonna sing that to you guys in the spirit of that to honor what he made. And this song is called Blackbird, okay? I hope you like it.
everybody doing? This next song is a song. Can I introduce everybody? I went down the line. B. Jeffrey Smith on sax. You've met him earlier. It kicked off the concert, kicked off the day today. Charlie Burnham on violin. Marvin Sewell on guitar. Fred Cash on bass. And on keys, piano, and keyboard here. This is my partner in crime, my co-songwriter, co-producer, partner in life and love for 29 years as of last week. Damn, we old, babes. Aaron Whitby on keys from London, England. So Aaron and I created a uh, theatrical concert. We developed a theatrical concert at the Public Theater in New York City uh, called Bone, Bone Hill. Um, we're currently developing our second piece uh, called Black Mountain Women. We, we thought it was, you know, with losing so many elders back at home, people don't really know about our little mountain and all, our mighty, small but mighty mountain. And so I wanted to honor our family um, in song, in storytelling. Um, and so this particular song is called 40 Wheels. This is a song about the Trail of Tears and, and the American Indian Removal Act, which lasted over a period of 70 years. And there were three separate removal periods. And each time they had our Southeastern people forcibly moved by the, you know, the cavalry, the military, the United States government mandates uh, we were forced to walk 900 miles to this new land called Oklahoma, where we are now from today, where many of the, what they call the so-called five civilized tribes are there today. And why are we civilized? You have to read about that. This is not, it's not long enough for me to stand here on this mic to say this, these stories. But each of those three removal acts during those three, removal periods over the 70 years, our ancestors were forced to leave and walk in winter. So I don't know if people were aware of that. And on the last removal period, um, 16,000 Cherokees were lost and died on the roads. And the reason they call it the Trail of Tears, back home we call it the Long Walk, but they call it the Trail of Tears because when our loved ones froze to death and, got, and died, from hypothermia and all kinds of things that were happening, they wouldn't allow us to bury our dead. So they, they made us leave them on the side of the road. And that's why it's called this Trail of Tears. Okay, just so you know. So this song, 40 Wheels, it just talks about a few of the generations of what the sounds of the 40 wheels meant to people on our mountain back home, okay? In our peaceful little world of Appalachia, we'll high, high up on the hills above the clouds, my people dwell. How sweet the silence in the still of a hollow. We the calling of our love, black coal.
Y'all still with me? Yeah. I'm still with you. We're going to do this song called Drums. And your singing part is, there are drums. There are drums. There are drums. There are drums. That's it. Oh, OK. We got some notes up in the front row. There are drums. There are drums. So I'll say, and there are drums. There, there are, are drums beyond the mountain. There, there are, are drums. drums. All right, that's your singing part. All right, here you go. This is a song about American Indian boarding schools and the government mandate to remove American Indian children from their homes to assimilate them into society. All right, so we got to sing. There are drums, loud and clear, OK? I'm singing this for all of our elders who are still alive to tell those stories. It's very important. And every time I sing it, the elders say to me, Martha, keep singing and telling our story. So that's what I'm doing. And that's why I'm here. I do it to Ed, I sing it. We do this song to every audience. And it's, we have to remind people of what we call uncomfortable truths about our nation's history. And every country's got their own crosses to bear. So, you know, we're not taught these things so much in schools anymore. They're not in textbooks. So we got to go back to how we always did it, oral history, right? We used to hear these things, hear all these stories in the kitchen at funerals and at births and at weddings. These are when the family stories come. And now that we have all these phones and everything, when grandma and grandpa and great auntie and un great uncle are in those kitchens, you put that phone on and you talk to them. Because when they're not here anymore, we don't have those stories and we have to pass them on. Not for just for ourselves, but for our children's children. Okay? All right, that's my soapbox. See, I got a big soapbox today, so. <laughs> Drums. All right. <clears throat> oh, I think my, Mr. Bass Player got something. What you got?
on piano, y'all. We're going to take a moment and honor some of the ancestors. Well, there's a long pine and sequoia, handsome lake, and sitting bull. Then there's Mangus, Colorado, with its sleeves so red and full. Crazy hearts, the legend, and those who me this land's history but we taught it to you first we broke your hearts and bent your journeys broken treaties left us cursed even now you try to cheat us even though you think we're tame in our losing, we found proudness. And in your winning, you found shame. Then <laughs> there are drums. powerful song like on the planet. Woo, talk about education. If you don't know, you're going to learn today. That's what they say. Church, all right. Well, we're going to teach you. We're going to have our community. We're trying to make a global community. We just, we are coming through a two year plus pandemic. We need each other more than ever before. We come from planet Earth, and we have to build a global community. So we're going to use our global community to teach us church claps. <laughs> Remember what I said, friends, don't let friends clap on. Oh, y'all got it. I'm counting on you. Um. <laughs> I need another pair of arms for this. Woo! Here we go. Church claps. How do we do it? I'll start them up. I dedicate this song to New Orleans. And we say Springfield by way in New Orleans. Nothing like 
like a church clap to find my way back. Nothing like a church clap to find my way back. Nothing like a church clap to find my way back. Find my way back. Find my way back home. Tell us we got time for like one, maybe one and a half songs.
Let's have a revolution. Isn't Christmas addicts from up here? I'm just kidding. All right. All right. We're going to take it down for a minute because I'm going to take you all to church. Revival and everything. Y'all did the church claps. Y'all sang. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling very grateful. And we're also blessed with beautiful weather today. And let me tell you what a gift this is, being able to share our music. Because you know, every musician, our livelihood relies on the gathering of people. So once it's not, once you take that away, we're just in rehearsal, <laughs> you know? So we're very grateful to be out here again. <clears throat> and I also appreciate what it took to put this concert together after coming through this pandemic. So let's give a hand to the folks here at Springfield Jazz and Roots. I said it early, I did say it early, but I always say it again, you know? And sometimes I, this song is called Underdog because sometimes I feel like, you know, I've been an independent musician for a very long time. And, um, and my partner Aaron and I made a conscious decision to remain independent musicians so we could champion causes that we believe in and spend time in communities and honor our culture and heritage and be able to nurture that and cultivate that. Because these are things that just disappear when people leave this place, you know? So in a way, I feel like the folks here at Springfield Jazz and Roots are underdogs putting this together against the odds of a pandemic too. It's not easy, you know? <clears throat> so the song is called Underdog, and Aaron and I wrote this back in 19... Coffee, coffee. Some days it feels like there's a heaven up above. I never wanted to end Cause I just can't get enough And some days there are none I mean nobody, no one I got a pocket full of dust And I'm gambling on that long star But I guess I was born 
The Wida, the Wida, the Wida, yo. The Wida, the Wida, the Wida, yo. The Wida, the Wida, the Wida, yo. Hey, the Wida, yo. Come on up, guys. The Wida, ha. The Wida, ha, yo. You must not forget me when I'm long gone. Because I love you so dearly, sugar honey. To we da, to we da, to we da yo. Hey, to we da yo. You must not forget me when I'm long gone. Because I love you so dearly, sugar honey. To we da, to we da, to we da yo, hey, to we da yo, to we da, 
Thank you. 